Well, Charlie, I do hope you're enjoying our little ghoulish gadabout. <laughs> so proudly try to control yourself. Well, I know you can't see him. Neither can I. <laughs> but we know you're there, don't we, Charlie? Oh. Rodney, this oh. has gone far enough. Oh. Now, you're making a spectacle out of yourself. It's oh. embarrassing me. <laughs> Go out to the refrigerator and, and get that plate of candy June bugs that I prepared for our snack. Now, go on, Rodney. Gracious, Charlie, you know that's the trouble with today's modern generation. <laughs> They're all mixed up. But I must say, Charlie, I do wish you were a bit more uh, apparent at times. It's like talking to myself. <laughs> oh, now, 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 Charlie, don't you be offended. Now, you stay right where you are. I want you to see a little sneak preview of next week's little gem. Will you? Oh, that's being very big about the whole thing, Charlie. And now, here are the vital statistics on next week's Cupid. The Invisible Man, starring Claude Rains. You know, this is H.G. Wells' wonderful invention, inspired by an acute over acid condition that kept the old boy up all night. <laughs> it was either right or birth. And being a man gently disposed, he chose the former. The result, a classic of horror, the invisible man. And remember, you saw it here first. Well, <laughs> I knew that was going to please you, Charlie. I knew that all the time. You know, when one is a little unusual, it is a consolation to know that he's not alone in one's predicament. Eh, Charlie? Isn't that that is correct? Oh, here comes that sturdy youth with the goodies. Now, while we munch, I suggest that you return to the mad goon. Now, at this time, a request of you. Dilate your pupils. Alert your senses. Hone your wits to needle sharpness. Here's the message from our sponsors. And so concludes another true life drama in the story of people just like the people who live next door to you. And if you agree with that last statement, <laughs> you better move. <laughs> well, I know you'd never forget us if we hurried off without informing you again of those people responsible for our rambunctious rendezvous. <laughs> and they are Tony King Hillside Store at 1613 South Hillside. Superior Appliance at 2936 East Douglas. The Electric Home at 1200 South Broadway. Hard Net Appliance at 205 North St. Francis. The Model Kitchen at 1551 South Emporia. Whoa. There we are. I knew you were there. <laughs> Weaver Music Company at 454 North Market. Oh, dash it off, Charlie. Must you skitter away so? Oh, well. If you must, you must. But I must say we've certainly enjoyed seeing him again. Haven't we, Rodney? Ooh. Well, gracious, perhaps I should have said <laughs> enjoyed being aware of you again. Eh, Rodney? Uh-huh, Rodney. He's such a playful boy. You realize that, Charlie. Rodney, 
You, you stop, mm. you're just standing there and staring at Charlie now. Excuse me, Charlie, he's a curious sort, you know. Now, Rodney, control oh. your voice for nature. Now, stop it. Show Charlie to the door. Mm. The front door, Rodney. Charlie, it's been mm. good seeing you. It certainly has. You come back and you see us mm. again. Even though we can't see him. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> no, they certainly are a lovable twosome. <laughs> Uncommunicative, but lovable. <laughs> you know, we're going to meet again next week in those hours of the night when formless shapes and abysmally colored creatures screech in tormented voices and creep and crawl abroad in the inky blackness. <laughs> yes, we shall meet then to see Claude Rains in H.G. Wells' classic, The Invisible Man. Until then, good night.